<laughs> so that right there is why I love this game so much. The crash physics there are just ridiculous, obscene, absurd, and over the top, and I love it. I just picked up this little, I don't know that the term netbook is still really applicable any longer, but I'll call it a netbook from Micro Center. It's called the Maestro Education Notebook Evolve 3. And this was originally, you can see here, 150, but it's been marked down $70. So these are selling right now for only $80. And I think just to get a Windows 10 laptop for $80 really isn't horrible. So I bought it just to experiment with. Apparently you can load Fedora 39 onto it and that has out of the box now support for the sound and wireless drivers. One thing I will note just out of the box is it only has 2.4 gigahertz wireless ability, so some of the newer 5 gigahertz networks are not going to work with this. However, interestingly enough, it does have a SIM card slot. Might be a bit difficult to see. So we've got, that's not full size HDMI, so uh, smaller HDMI, USB, USB, micro SD, I believe, and three and a half millimeter. First impressions of this, really not bad at all. It has an anti-glare or matte screen, whatever terminology you prefer to use for that. The trackpad is actually relatively impressive for something this price. I have always had a bit of a gripe with PC trackpads. Uh, laptops, but this one is absolutely passable. So far, I'm fairly pleased with this, though I will note in the corners there's some concerning light bleed curving, which I'm not sure if this is a defective one or something like that, but for the price, I'm probably just going to let that slide. Just to give a little aesthetic tour of the notebook. It's got this sort of economy gray plastic. However, it doesn't look too bad. Probably a fingerprint magnet, but if you're used to newer Apple products that come in that bluish black color, this won't be so bad. Not really much to it. Relatively thin, very light. I'll pull it off the 12 volt power adapter that it comes with. Overall, not a horrible looking little computer. I did actually buy this to play one specific Windows game that I do like, which is from the year 2000. As I stated before, I legitimately did just purchase this to play this one game called One Insane, made by Codemasters sometime, I believe, in the year 2000. It's kind of a cool little off-road racing game, but the reason I like this is because it has soft body crash physics, which for back then was not very common and surprisingly is really actually well done. Now this doesn't have a CD drive. Fortunately I have a modded version of this game on a little USB drive. As this transfers over from the flash drive I will say the specs. It has 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, um, some sort of Intel, I think it's a Celeron 1.1 gigahertz but don't quote me on that. Fortunately, I got the game to work, so I'm just going to do a super quick demonstration of why I love this game so much. Now, for something from the year 2000, it had a strong modding community, it had online presence, and there's different cheat codes. Which sometimes could trip you up as there were different versions of this game distributed into the different regions. So my game is modded a ton. I don't know that you can still find a lot of these files. But this is about as many mods as I could get into this before the game just started crashing. This is always my favorite vehicle. And tons of maps. Even the, the stock ones are really quite impressive.
I always like this one. And my favorite game mode is, oh, I forgot to put in that sheet. I mean, look at all these cars, <laughs> and and ninety five percent of these are mods. But it had such an active modding community. This is my personal favorite. And you can see all these maps were the stock ones that were included with it, and I. Put in some, of course, modifications. Personal favorite is the motocross. The game mode, my favorite. Destruction zone, difficulty, insane. Three opponents are always the most fun, and seven is the maximum number. So, let's see how it looks, how it runs. I have to say the speakers are reasonable. So the point of the game is to just smash into the other cars and get the most points. You can see it it's not lagging for any reason other than some of the mods that are currently in this game make it lag. But this game is just a <laughs> it's a ton of fun. I love the suspension movement, the the soft body physics, the vehicle deformation when crashing is something that in the year 2000 was not very common. This was based off of a demo game in the 90s. Uh, late 90s that kind of looked pretty cool like this. I'll throw up a picture of it. But this is just my absolute favorite. And you can really have some fun here. So, the only other thing I'm going to show you is something kind of funny. So if we go into this speed zone map here, has no terrain really, anything like that. And there's a modification here where the space bar becomes just extra power. It's called the Ferrari Enzo, the A Ferrari Enzo. There it is. So the car will start by going backwards because apparently the space bar is the e-brake. So with this modification, it just makes it shoot past. Three, two, one, go! So you'll see, it sounds very funny because of the sound modeling that was used. Can't really cope with the power, so. Once I hit the space bar, so. And you basically just do this till you hit someone and, and you inevitably win this. However, the car likes to spin out of control somewhere around 800 to 1,000 kilometers per hour. <laughs> so that right there is why I love this game so much. The crash physics there are just ridiculous, obscene, absurd, and over the top, and I love it. So that's gonna conclude <laughs> this video. Hope you liked it. This laptop is definitely fun to tool around with. Putting Fedora on it is likely a wise decision for anyone not purchasing it to play a retro game like this. And yeah, 
not too shabby. I will be uploading more videos of my robot project and things like that, but I just wanted to throw this up as I picked this laptop up and figured, hey, might be a cool way to showcase my favorite game. Just a quick amendment or addendum. I think addendum is the word. I picked up this Keychron keyboard from there. I really know nothing about keyboards and I only pick them based on how they feel. And this one has a Macintosh applicable layout. So the sad day has come where this is going to replace my 1999 or 2000 Apple Pro keyboard, which has gotten a bit too dirty for my taste.